hello students welcome back to my channel mind your exam so in this video we will be studying about block coding technique so block coding is a technique that is generally applied along with line coding and line coding we have studied in the previous videos so today we will see the concept of block coding so block coding is a process of incorporating redundant bits into the uh, digital bits the binary bits that have to be transmitted okay so redundant means extra and redundancy of bits is basically required during transmission because of two main reasons the first is for synchronization synchronization means that the sender and receiver clocks have to be synchronized they have to be starting and ending at the same time at the same instant so that when a sender sends a bit and he uh, or she stops sending the bit the receiver is also receiving the same message the receiver should also start accepting or start receiving or start expecting the bit when the sender has started sending okay so their clocks should be synchronized it is very important that digital data whatever it is sent is received as it was sent okay and the second reason is for error detection now you have to be very careful here while writing the reason see error detection and error correction are two different things error detection simply means we are finding whether there is an error or not and when we say error correction we are correcting the error if there is one okay so here we are only talking of detecting if the message that was sent by the sender is correctly received or not so along with transmission of data we also require synchronization as well as error detection and both these uh, can be done by uh, introducing some extra bits or some redundancy into the data transmission scheme okay so block coding it improves line coding by incorporating redundancy in terms of bits so basically block coding is represented by mb slash nb coding so uh, mb means m bits b stand for bits so m bits are replaced with n number of bits okay so this slash is very important so that you do not confuse with the line coding techniques okay so block coding basically changes a block of m bits into a block of n number of bits where n is always greater than m okay so basically initially if there were four bits you are now increasing the number of bits to say 10 bits so it will be 4 to 10 encoding block encoding and generally we uh, we divide the entire stream of data into blocks of equal sizes of m bits each and each of those blocks of m bits are replaced with blocks of n bits where n has to be greater than m then only some extra bits will be introduced along with these m data bits and those extra bits are actually used for error detection and synchronization so synchronization basically also means that uh, it is an indication to tell the receiver whether the when the data has started coming when the data bit has ended or the data byte has ended or when the sender now wants to stop transmitting data okay so these are some of the things that can help the receiver to synchronize the uh, uh, transmission of data okay so block coding basically involves three kinds of steps which is division substitution and combination so as you can guess division basically means dividing a sequence of bits into groups and each group should be of m bit each okay m bits each here we are talking of m b n b encoding so m and n will be replaced according to the block coding scheme 
that we will be using we will be studying two other types of uh, block coding scheme in the next video today we'll be understanding the concept and working of block coding okay so once you have divided the entire stream of data into uh, uh, groups and such groups which are also known as blocks such that each block contains m bits then you have to replace each m bit group with an n bit group okay so each group of bits will be replaced with a new group of bits containing n bits okay now once you have got these n bit group the n bit groups will be combined together again to form a continuous stream of data and this stream will have more bits than the original bit stream that was divided into m bits okay so m groups of m bits so this resulting stream which has been formed after combining all the n bit groups has more bits than the original stream okay so here is a diagrammatic representation of how block coding actually works see if this was the original a uh, bit stream that the sender was sending it consisted of some bits uh, zeros and ones so if we are dividing these bits this sequence of data into groups of four then what we will do in the division step each group will be separated and then each group will be substituted or replaced with a group of 5 bits as we have done here so the 4 bits have been replaced with a group of 5 bits each okay so uh, this is now uh, converted or rather coded into uh, mb nb coding and the resulting combined stream after combining all the n bit groups is received by the receiver okay so the extra bits are used for uh, control operations error detection and even synchronization as discussed here okay so in the next video we will be discussing two types of block coding schemes so stay tuned to our channel for more videos thank you for watching if you understood this concept please let us know in the comment section below till we meet in the next video mind your exam